Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we'll be putting a new wiper cowl on the GT. Now here's the one on the Cobra. Luckily, it's still really good shape because these are over 200, maybe even 300 dollars now from Ford. So the one we're going to be putting on the GT is kind of a knockoff brand. It's a lot less expensive, but the GT sits outside. It's my daily driver, so there's no need to put that much money into one that uh, is going to get sun beaten. So we'll go ahead and install this one here. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where you can find them. But uh, the only difference is they have a split right now in the middle of them. And uh, this one, you can see how bad it is. It's missing pieces, it's cracked. And as you go to remove a lot of these, just plan on it cracking. So to remove the wiper arm, you're going to take a little screwdriver and pull this pin out. And then you're going to lift up on the arm like this. And uh, make sure it comes all the way out here at the bottom. And then just lift straight up. Be very careful not to get your fingers down in here because when it closes it can snap and pinch and uh, it's very hard to open these back up so be very careful but you should be able to just to uh, wiggle these right back off. Okay same thing over on the passenger side just pull that little tab out and lift up on the wiper arm. Okay remove that one out of the way and now you will be having the hood up and down the whole time so go ahead and pop that and next we're going to take off this trim piece that goes through here. This is very simple just lift up on it and it comes right off so just remove that out of the way. Next we're going to remove a few screws here and so you can see these have the little screw bit in the top and then the base at the bottom. So it's hard to get a screwdriver in here unless you have somebody to actually hold the hood up for you. You can do that to, to get a better uh, angle on it. If not, something I like to do is just get one of these quarter inch drive sockets and then I'll throw the little drill bit down in there and that uh, allows you to get on here just right. And you can even do that with a ratcheting wrench or whatever. And if you're afraid of the uh, bit coming out, then you can take it and wrap it in some electrical tape. I'll do that just to kind of keep it from coming out, and that's kind of handy. But to tell you the truth, with these things, what you can do uh, is just put a screwdriver under them and kind of pry them up and out. And then uh, after that, uh, you can pry the base out. So it's just one of these little clip deals. So uh, once you get the screw out a little bit, then it can pop out. So. This is what it looks like. You've probably seen these before. And it comes with new hardware in the kit. And so if you want, you can just discard these if you want. But uh, they come out pretty simple. Okay, now for removing this, uh, there's tabs along here, but what you'll find a lot of times is this will just break as you're trying to lift up on it. Uh, it gets pretty brittle, so just do the best that you can, and uh, I'll show you in a minute. You want to make sure that where the clips were that you pull them out, because uh, sometimes they get stuck into the frame of the car. Uh, so next we're going to go ahead and go after these uh, windshield sprayer nozzles. So underneath here, uh, you can see they just come through and it's very simple you just pull them off uh, right there at the base and so I'll show you a different view here so just be careful as you separate it but you pull down on it and then here's the nozzle that's left and at the top there's this little tab so you're gonna push up on that top that tab and then it will pop right out of the top just like that so that's the little nozzle right there just push on that tab and push it up through Okay, on the, this is the back side on the driver side. You'll have another area here to pop off. Same thing, just push on that tab there and you'll push the other nozzle through. Very simple. And then just follow the line where it's uh, placed in on the bottom side of this cowl and just pop it out. Uh, you want to be careful not to crack this so you can put a screwdriver underneath it as well and gently pry to help get that out if you want. Okay, so here's our other nozzle. Very simple, same thing. Just push down on that tab, pop it through the top. And here's our new panel. And uh, as I said, it's in two pieces. And so that's the only real difference. I kind of wish it was one, but uh, anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and put the nozzle back down in here and uh, just pop it right in. So make sure it's facing towards the driver. And then we're gonna do the uh, same thing, Just plug it in on the bottom side 
Okay, so we're just lining up these uh, little clips here to the slots. And uh, you just want to make sure that the slot doesn't have the old piece stuck into it. There's one guide pin there. So we're going to go ahead and just put them down in here. And make sure it's going underneath the A pillar as well. Uh, that's the nice part about it being two pieces is it's pretty easy to do that part of it. Just make sure it's down all the way. And so here's a example here. One of the factory clips got stuck down in here. So they can do that. You want to make sure that they've all been removed and uh, not just broken off. Uh, okay, we connected the windshield washer on the uh, passenger side here as well. And we're just going to go ahead and set this down in there. Make sure that it goes down under the A pillar as we had mentioned before. And uh, just make sure on all these clips what I've had to do since they're almost too small to go down into that little slot I've had to wrap them with some sticky tape on each side just so that it's a little thicker of a connection and uh, then they'll go down into that slot a lot better and hold on a lot tighter so here's some uh, double-sided duct tape that I put in there that seemed to help it to bridge that gap a little bit more and so I did that on each of these posts and uh, as it goes down into that slot, it kind of holds it a little bit better. So yeah, those slots just seem to be a little too big for the clips that they gave us. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in uh, all the way around. We got it on all three of these clips and we're gonna just set it down inside there. Okay, next, just put in your push pins. It comes with new ones. And uh, this one on the far end, for some reason, wasn't working, so I just used the factory one. Uh, next, we just went through and put our little insulation uh, piece here and just pressed it down into place. And uh, once you get that all the way down, then uh, you're ready to put the hood down. And uh, this is how it kind of looks. So you can see there is that little, uh, you know, channel in the middle. It's not the best. And then this piece here was already falling off when it came. It was like a double-sided sticky tape that they used that wasn't very strong. But uh, anyway, it looks pretty good for its price and it's going to work. So next we're just going to line up the windshield wiper blades. And so just slide it back on the top. And as you go to put it down, you may notice that it's too low, too high. That's where you'll just lift it right back up and uh, just rotate it slightly and uh, eventually you should be able to get it to line up the way that you need it to and then you'll push in those tabs so sometimes three times is the charm right and watch that little clamp there too that you don't get your finger caught in it and so let's go ahead and put these on on both sides passenger side as well this goes down you can see I have to go back into the driver's side again that's a little too low but uh, Anyway, just make sure that that tabs in and do your final adjustments and this is what it looks like completed. So all in all, I think it's uh, good for a cheap little piece it's for something that I don't mind that sits out in the sun and maybe I'll get it a, a nicer, newer one at a different point if the car's ever garaged. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and thumbs up really helped the channel and uh, subscribe if you're new here. Thanks guys.